A big thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring this week's video. So in this video, I'm gonna give you three really simple tips that'll give you consistently better photos. Morning everybody, fantastic to see you all again. So there are two things in photography. One is the technical aspect, where you want to get everything technically good, you wanna get the exposure right, the focus right. That's really important. But the second thing, and a lot of people forget about this, is it's gotta be aesthetically good. So the composition's gotta be right. And that's what I'm gonna talk about in this video. And I'm gonna give you three actionable things that will make a difference straight away to your photography, I promise. So we're gonna start with focal length and how important focal length is. Pretty much everyone that gets a camera for the first time gets a lens a bit like this, 24 to 70 millimeter lens. And you, Quite often when you get this lens, shoot at 24 millimeters or the wider part of it, because you think landscape photography is all about just getting everything in and getting this amazing big scene in, and that's great, you can get some great results, but also you can get a lot of shots like this one here. And this was a shot that I took a long time ago, and I thought this was brilliant. But you can see there's a big area at the bottom here that's not being used. Um, the clouds are, are nice, but there's not a lot of focal point in it. And the most important thing in photography is simplicity and drawing the, the viewer into that simplicity. And this image and a lot of images that I used to take at that wider end just didn't have that. But by zooming in a little bit, by going to the 70 millimeter end, you can make photography a lot easier. If you think about it, you're taking that whole scene in and you've got to sort of arrange, composition is arranging these elements in that scene. The more you have in, the more elements you've got to arrange. So the tighter you go in, the more you zoom in, the more you're taking away a lot of those elements that you've got to arrange and you're focusing in and making the image simpler. I'm gonna give you some examples. So this one, you can just straight away, we can go into it and crop it and make this a much better photo. So if we just crop out a lot of the sky, already it's looking better. I've got a bit of a focus point there. Might maybe even crop out that bit. We could probably have that in, couldn't we? So here now, this is already a much, much better photo. You know, you can see this hill here, you've got a nice diagonal line. I'm not saying that wide angle images aren't great. So, you know, I've taken lots of great wide angle images like this one here, but it's a lot, lot more difficult. Here, I've got to think really careful about this foreground. I've got to think about this in the background, the, these stacks. I've got to think what's at the side because I've got a wider angle lens. This was 14 millimeters, so it's including a lot. Um, and it's just generally a lot more difficult. You've got to think about focus stacking quite often. Again, with this one, there's so much to think about this image. It seems simple, it looks simple when you look at it, but it was really difficult to take. Um, this is an example of when I was getting a little bit better at wide angle shots, but still, I feel like I've gone just too wide. So again, I can crop in, I think, and get rid of some of this and go to about here. And you know, this is already a better shot. Um, you know, I've not got a lot of wasted space in the corner here. I've got these rocks drawing your eye in. So generally, it's better to go and zoom in a bit. Again, this was a shot I took about 15 years ago and I thought this rock was really interesting at the time. And I see a lot of shots like this when I've judged competitions or um, when I'm helping people out that are beginners, I see a lot of shots like this where there's a lot of dead space. Again, on this shot, if we just zoom in on this bit here, we can get a shot like this, which, I think it's much more powerful, it's simpler, you know exactly what you're looking at, this ridge line and this lake in the background. So trying to simplify your images is, is really important. Again, another example here, we've got a wide scene here. And the problem is with a wide angle lens is that you're not just getting more ground, more elements in the scene, but you're often getting more sky in. And if the sky's a bit boring like this, then it's not great, but just by zooming in a little bit, um, and, and looking at this shot here, then this is a bit better. And then I've zoomed in and gone portrait and taken this shot and it just focuses the mind. It makes the whole thing simpler. So I'm not saying that every shot needs to be zoomed in. Of course it doesn't. There's a time for wide angle, but if you're looking to improve your photography, then that's the first step that I'd say is just think about going to the 70 millimeter end. Now, out of interest, I'll just show you now some photos that I've taken that are between 50 and 100 millimeters.
on to the second point. And the second point is something that um, I've done myself so many times and I've talked about this before, but it's just don't put your camera on a tripod when you arrive at a location. The best thing to do is just sit down, have an apple, take everything in. Um, but even then, don't get your tripod out. The tripod should be the very, very, very last thing that you get out. So get your camera and just walk around and take shots. And if you find something, so at first I, I got this scene here, I was I was this as location, and I was thinking, well, this is okay. A lot of people take this shot. It's a nice shot, but there must be a better shot. So rather than just putting my camera on my tripod and down, I took my camera and I started to go around. And I, I, I found this angle here, so I walked down into these marshes and found this angle. And I, I almost made the mistake of setting my tripod up and doing this, and I thought, oh no, what I'll do is I'll just go a little bit closer and see if I can find anything else. So then I got to this shot here, but I felt like that these grasses and this um, tree were just a little bit too much in a line. So um, I, I tried to move around a little bit, I couldn't, and then eventually I went a bit closer and moved around. Um, and I got this shot here, which was the final image. But that took a lot of sort of maneuvering like this, getting my foot wet a little bit and going up and down. It just makes such a big difference. I can promise you that if, if you don't put your camera on the tripod to begin with, it will really improve your photography, I promise. Okay, onto the third point. And for that, I've just got to go to this shot here. And this shot was in the Langdales. And I was preparing this video and I was gonna show you this shot and I was gonna show it in different light. But then I thought, I'll make a model. <laughs> Don't know why I thought that. So my son helped me and we made a model of this, which is it's quite a big model. So <laughs> as you can see, this is my model of, of that scene. And um, I thought it'd be good to do this because I thought what I could show you is I could show you like now, can you see straight on, that, um, that it's quite flat, you know, you don't get a lot of modeling of the, of the hillside very much. But if I move it to the side and shoot from that direction this way, you can see now from this angle how much better it is. So you can see that there's modeling here um, and it just looks a lot better basically. There's a big model just to demonstrate that point. It's quite good actually. Um, and it's, it's pretty good. So this is the Langdales by the way. Um, that's Harrison, Harrison um, Stickle. Pretty good, thanks Sam. <laughs> so that is the scene. You can see I've got this angle of light coming from the side. And light's so important. I can't stress how important it is in photography. If you can get the light right, then you're gonna get a miles better shot. Um, and that, you know, thinking about shooting into the light, having the light coming from the sides rather than from behind you. And again, this isn't a rule. This is generally what I do. Then you can get shots that are very different. So this was with the light slightly behind me of Yosemite. This was the light coming in from the side and back really. And you can see just the difference that makes to the scene. It's, it's huge, it's so huge. Um, again, this is a good example. So this was light in Yosemite again, where the light was, it was sort of coming over my shoulder really. And you can see that, I don't think this is great because um, it sort of, these trees sort of mix with um, half dome in the background, but um, you can see again, it, it's okay. It's, it's sort of okay this, but I'd, I feel like the better shot was shot in the other direction when I'm shooting directly into the sun. I get something really dramatic. It makes such a big difference. That was one direction, that was the other. They were taken at almost the same time. Um, and then this this shot I think worked better when the sun went down um, and we just had that sort of flatter light. So this was when the sun was almost gone off the trees compared with this one. But light makes such a big difference. Um, again, I'll just show you one more example here. I've shown this before, but it's such a good example. This was when the light was coming a little bit behind me. And as the light was going over to the left and set in, then it produced this shot here, which was much better. This was literally about an hour later and it made such a big difference. So definitely think about those three points. Before I go, I'm gonna announce the winner of the competition for the print um, from last week. Before I do that, I just wanna say thanks to this week's sponsor and that is Squarespace. Now, if you're looking when you've got some great shots and you've you know, started photography to share them um, with your friends and family or you're starting to run a business, you wanna set up an online store, then Squarespace are 
fantastic platform. I use them all the time for my whole business. I've used them for six years now, I think, and they've just been amazing. They've got 24 seven support and I can't recommend them enough. So if you're looking for a website, you're looking to set up a store, then check out squarespace.com forward slash Nigel. You can get 10% off or use offer code Nigel. Okay, onto the print winner. So the print winner from my Spirit of Luskentai series of films um, was taken from all the comments that were um, amazing, by the way, <laughs> I just couldn't believe them, but I picked a comment to win a print, an A2 print, and that comment is from Kim Munch. And now I did this randomly, so um, you just gotta trust me on that. I just sort of scroll through them and then um, point my pen at the screen. So Kim, if you contact me through my website, I'll make sure that I get that print sent to you. Okay, thanks ever so much for watching. I'm off to photograph some birds now. I've got a 600 millimeter lens. I'm gonna improve my bird photography. I've got a weekend of doing that um, with the amazing Rachel Bixby. And um, there's gonna be a film all about that as well. Thanks ever so much for watching. Until next Sunday, bye.